My congratulations to all participants. Thank you all for joining my presentation. Let me introduce myself. My name is Oleg Nutremko. I am a junior research scientist of World Data Center for Geoinformatics and Sustainable Development of National Technical University of Ukraine, Irsikorsky Kupel Technik Institute. And today I am going to talk about extracting and identifying relationship of key flows in information flows. Hello Zurovsky, Dmitro Lande, Konstantin Yefremov, Andriy Boldok and Artem Sobolev are the co-author of this work. First of all, I would like to say that at different times the information flows reflect the dynamically changing narratives. It is known that a narrative from a Latin narrow to tell explain is a set of interconnected real or fictional events, facts or impressions that compose a narrative text. The main function of the narrative is to represent a single event or multiple events. From a retrospective point of view, the study of how narrative changed can explain many things, such as the international influence of certain cycles on public opinion, which, for example, directly affect the overall security of the state. Also, an analysis of the dynamic of narratives allows us to predict social phenomena, events and processes. Therefore, the task of narrative research and the study of how narrative change is an important research task and is especially relevant in the context of information or hybrid wars. Direct research of narratives in the information flows and automatic identification of narratives is a complex task that can be decomposed into separate partial tasks. Among these tasks, the task of automatic identification and extraction of individual key flows, the set of which from the narrative, can be highlighted. Obviously, the relationship of key flows, or other key expressions, allows identifying the most context-related phrases, in other words, allows reconstructing the narrative. The study is a part of a series of the World Data Center for Geoinformatics and Sustainable Development VDS Ukraine team research and scenario modeling of crisis and security phenomena and study of uh, their impact on the economy and society, including identifying threats of the formation of certain public opinion, identifying scenes of uh, simulating the protest agenda, etc based on the analysis of internet media and social network data. The task of key frost detection belongs to the class of text pattern recognition that in the context are similar to the task of identifying concepts from the documents, concept recognition, event, event recognition, finding memes, short legs, coordination of phenomena processes. To solve this problem, the following methods can be used. Template methods, when the required fragments of text are the same as some fragments of text. Templates are formed by analysts. This method refers to their supervised learning. Also exists common machine learning methods, as well as method of supervised learning, when the necessary part of documents are found using machine learning algorithms and pre-trained pre models. These models uh, are computer generalization of corporal marker sets of text document or their fragments uh, for which experts have already made calculation regarding their target utility. Also exist lingual statistical methods are based on the automatic detection of constant phrase and empirical methods for calculating the degree of their impact and weight. These methods can apply to super unsupervised learning. Within this work, the lingual statistical method is proposed to consider. This method involves the use of the set of text data for research and training of a sufficiently large volume of sorted by publication date text documents. The essence of the method is to perform such technological operation as the creation of a query corresponding to the object of interest to existing information retrieval systems by experts. As a result of processing these queries, uh, large sets of relevant documents in which the necessary documents are defined using special algorithms are created. Based on the selected uh, for different languages corpora, the contents phrase belonging to different periods of time are identified. 
Next, using the modern methods of uh, network analysis, the relationship of key phrases are researched and their individual clusters that probably correspond to the narratives will be identified. The author proposed a form of visual displaying of information flows in terms of key phrases and dates. This form is a frame diagram, pitch die, the self of which are filled with numerical values corresponding to the frequencies of key phrases in relation to the dates on which they appear. This is the column of this table correspond to the dates and the rows correspond to the key phrases, which can be considered as peculiar mindful filters of information flow. The proposed pitch die chart visually is a table whose uh, cells are colored with the shades of color depending on the number of publication on uh, the selected object key phrase on the day. In this diagram, a larger volume cor correspond to a lighter shade. The proposed diagram for the relatively small number of lines of key phrase, several tens, allow without additional processing visually to identify groups of the most related by date and uh, intensity of publication of object. For a large number of objects while constructing a diagram, its clustering is proposed. As a result of the diagram, constructing the permutation of lines, regrouping of key phrases is carried out. For clustering, it's proposed to form a network of relationship of key phrases and to identify groups of the most interconnected and distant from other identified clicks. It's assumed that the resulting cluster of closely related key phrases will correspond to the narratives. The proposed in this work method for extracting, researching dynamics and revealing relationship of key phrases in information flows involves the implementation of number of steps. Step first is the formation of initial queries, templates for text selection, that correspond to the general theme. As the second step, as a result of processing the queries created in the first step, large set of relevant documents are created, in which the necessary fragments must be determined using special algorithm. In this case, the fragments are sentences that match the query. The essence of the third step is to extract the most important individual words, unigrams and phrases from the files obtained in the second step. For this purpose, a software model that called terms extractor is executed to extract key terms, words and phrases from thematic information flows for further identification of key phrases. This model is designed for purposes in natural language textual data of thematic information flows. Preprocessing includes tokenization of text, removal of subwords, and further extraction of keywords and key phrases through the application of broader natural language processing based on part of speech tagging. And finally, statistical weighting and ranking of terms by frequency of their occurrence in the text for further identification of key phrase is made. Special libraries such as uh, Pymorphy Second, Natural Language Toolkit, Spacey, Stanza and uh, fast text for language identification is used to implement this model. In the first steps, the most frequent words, they will be considered uh, as a key phrase in proposed models, should be selected for individual dates. And after that, the most frequent key phrase corresponding to all dates should be selected. The described above pitch die chart is displayed in the fifth step. The sixth step calculates the matrix of key phrase relationship. Individual phrases are considered to be connected if they are part of the same piece of text at the same time. The weight of such relationships between two key phrases correspond to the number of fragments of the text of documents that correspond to two connected key phrases at the same time. Based on the format matrix of key phrase relationships, the corresponding graph, in other words, a network of key terms, is displayed. In the last step, the network of key phrase relationship is clustered. Clustering can be performed using various algorithms, in particular the algorithms that are based on the calculation of network modularity can be used. In conclusion, the proposed linguistic statistical approach to the analysis of information flows in order to identify and extract narratives as a set of key phrases is subjective in nature. 
which in turn is presented as a sessional component of the methodological basis for analysis and forecasting. The proposed approach doesn't require large human cost and time resource. As a result of experiments, there is reason to assume that the use of realization tool such as a PhD chart allowed to decompose the original time series according to the composition and features of key phrase, identify activity of publication that correspond to the certain narratives, and identify relationship of key phrase. Considered approach can be used to address the analysis and realization of the distribution of narratives for any selected information sets. And also, it should be noted that uh, the approach can be used only when there is a retrospective formed. Okay, thank you all for your attention.